To balance the equation for the decomposition of potassium chlorate into potassium chloride and oxygen, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one potassium, one chlorine, and three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have one potassium, one chlorine, and two oxygen atoms. Whenever I have an odd number of oxygen atoms, I like to get that to an even number, and that makes the balancing a lot easier. So let's put a coefficient of 2 in front of the KClO3. So now we need to update all these numbers as 2 applies to everything. So 1 times 2, that gives us 2 potassium atoms. 1 times 2, that gives us 2 chlorine atoms. And then 3 times 2, that gives us 6 of these oxygen atoms. And now that's an even number. So to fix that, I could just put a 3 in front of my O2. 2 times 3, that equals 6, so the oxygens are balanced. And then I need two chlorines and two potassiums, a coefficient of 2 in front of the KCl, 1 times 2. That gives me 2, and 1 chlorine times the 2. That gives me two chlorines, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The trick here, if you get an even number of oxygens, that makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the decomposition of KClO3, and thanks for watching.